Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. everyone and welcome to Jan on Exploration Discovery. I'm Jared, the Jan and Jan R. In today's video, I'm going to talk about, guys, how do you know when you're getting close to accomplishing your goals or you're getting close to accomplishing something really big and important? Well, here are some signs that you guys look for. Honestly, the haters will really come out and start hating you. When you are getting really close to accomplishing something really big and really grand, people out there who are unsatisfied with themselves, and unfortunately there's a lot of them out there, guys, they will come out and they will start hating on you, they will start trying to tear you down, they'll start trying to do things to sabotage you. That is a big sign right there. You also will have people on the other side of the spectrum of people who didn't support you, but they're going to be coming out because they can just feel like, oh, payday's coming, or you're going to be famous, or it's going to be success happening. But they weren't there for you, and then they're going to be coming out with their hand held out trying to get things to come back into your lives. And success happens in different ways for all kinds of different people. But the big thing to remember is you really it's really easy to see who you should and shouldn't have around you and who you can and can't trust. If they couldn't ride with you when things were tough, but they think just because things are just about to really hit good for you and you're going to be doing all kinds of awesome things whether it be if you're going to be an actor a singer just over in a business and you're fixing to make a lot of money off of it or you're fixing to just become the next big thing then they come around and try to do it guys that's the other sign that you are about to hit it big it's just something that people do and people are, are always going to be haters even in your jobs, your bosses, I guarantee you that a lot of you have bosses in your jobs that cannot stand you because they are jealous of you. They're jealous of the way that you act, they're jealous of the way you work, and honestly, because they are so threatened by you, they will do everything they can to tear you down so you cannot get promoted and become the person in their position. And that is something that a lot of people just don't understand. They get offended by it and stuff though or they get upset about it and it's like you know it's not right but you know in a way it's it's almost like a deal of if you think about it they are doing that because they feel so threatened by you because they're so insecure and they know that they can't do the job as well as you can and they know that they're not as well appreciated by the other employees as you are so they got to do everything they can to try to tear you down as well and it's the same thing all throughout life You'll deal with this in schools. I know a lot of people have. You'll deal with this on jobs. You'll deal with this if you ever do become famous, if you're working towards that type of thing. You'll deal with this if you ever have a lot of money that you're dealing with. And people will just try to be as negative as they can. They will try to tear you down. And guys, I've dealt with this. I've dealt with this on a job I had. I worked there for five years. And they were so insecure and so threatened by me that that I might take over their position, that they actually had to do everything they could. They had to actually start having people make up stories about things that I was supposedly saying just so I couldn't get promoted because they could not have somebody that was a free thinker that didn't just go up there and kiss their ass doing things because they couldn't have anybody that was, well liked and well respected by other fellow employees because they didn't want that. The, the, they wanted the people that they promoted in the supervisor positions and everything to be people that would do what they're told. I actually had a guy out there one time tell, tell another guy that I worked with that he cared too much. So that's the reason he was never going to become a supervisor at this place. I mean, that's the kind of thing though, guys. Haters are going to hate, and you, it's part of life. You have to deal with it, but that don't mean that you have to stay there. And honestly, I say this to you guys out there right now. Use that hate to fuel yourself to become even more elite and even better than what they are. So that way, at the end of the day, all they can do is be even more jealous of you. And after you're gone from 
whoever it is again, guys, job, school, anything in between, don't think college. But you get away from that, and then they will still be jealous of you and just keep ascending higher and higher and higher because you have a little bit of things that you can do. And this is true, guys. The only person that can stop you is you. So if you're getting close to accomplishing something, remember that. The more people are hating on you, the more that the fake people are trying to get close to you, that is a sign that you are fixing to hit something extraordinarily big. And it's a sign that you are really on the right track of where you need to be. So don't let people get you down. Don't let people tell you what you can and can't do. You can do anything that you want to do. Don't waste time at companies. If you're not going anywhere, if you're going to be in business and you're going to work for 50 years, then do it right. Jump companies as soon as, as soon as you know for a fact that they're not going to promote you because you're too much of a threat to their position and everything. Jump, ship, bail, and go to another company, guys. That's really the only way there is. You probably get a pay raise, too, if you're really good at your job, especially. So, don't let negativity get you down. Do what you want because life is too short not to. And enjoy the ride, guys, because the ride is better than the destination most of the time. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with General Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.